Hello and uh, welcome to a demo of the Tardabit IoT bridge. We're going to be connecting a uh, lightweight M2M device to Azure IoT Hub with, uh, with very little configuration today. My name is Jim Wirt, founder and CTO. So uh, let's, uh, let's jump in and get started. So first thing we have to do is create an account. We're gonna really start from scratch here. So I'm going to sign in with my Microsoft credentials. Okay, give it access. Okay, I don't have an account, so let's create a new one. So, okay, I have a new blank account. Uh, if I give you a, a, a quick run through. So endpoints would be your end devices. Uh, services uh, define the connectors that connect to say IoT Hub or the lightweight M2M -M server. Uh, triggers that define all the rules for how to process the data, how to deal with the events. And uh, you know, let's, uh, let's look at the, the most important thing, which is where we're gonna start here at the bottom at solution templates. So you can see we have a number of different uh, templates for connecting to different uh, enterprise services, as well as different connectors on the, the device side. But in this case, we're going to start with this uh, nice easy one, lightweight M2M to, M to Microsoft Azure IoT. So if we import this, we see it's importing a, ser a lightweight M2M to M server, a, a connector to the Azure IoT hub, a device, and a number of triggers. Uh, I don't need these random devices. We're going to supply the information uh, that I need to connect. I don't recommend this as a uh, pre-shared key for production, but for a demo, it works great. The last thing I need is I need my Azure connection string. So I'm going to go over to my uh, Azure portal. So here you'll see I have a, uh, a new empty uh, IoT hub. So I have no devices here. Uh, I'm going to go to my shared access policies. Now the, the Tardibit platform uses the IoT hub owner role because uh, it will define all of the devices that it needs uh, in, in the registry. So if I go back here, replace my connection string. So now I have my real connection string import. I now see that I have all of these services defined. So I'm going to start my triggers. And, uh, you know, again, if we look at now our, our services, we can see I have my lightweight M2M -M server. It's got its rules about the bootstrapping and some different configuration parameters. I have my Azure IoT Hub connection defined. Here's where that connection string got populated. I have the option if I want to process twin updates, if I want to register some methods. And then I have my endpoint. And this would be the specific lightweight M2M -M device that I'm trying to connect. So now if I go and actually uh, connect my device, what we should be able to see here is that I have a device and it's connected and I can go and take a look at my services and see that the services are connected. Uh, these failures are okay. This is just part of creating a new connection. And we see that my triggers fired a few seconds ago. My updates haven't come in yet. So those haven't, haven't executed. Uh, but now if we jump over to the, uh, IoT Hub page, we should be able to see our device. So we go over here, go down to my IoT devices. Hey, look, I have a device. Let's maybe go check out its twin. So we can see I already here have data mapped from the lightweight M2M object. So I can see this is the device object, object three, instance zero, and then the different resources. So battery level, battery status. These are all fields that should be very familiar to you if you uh, use lightweight M2M. Uh, firmware update object, location object. Basically, we map everything we can find. Now let's look a little bit at what was done to generate this. So if we go back to our triggers, the first trigger we have here is a read on register. So the, the triggers are all based on an event. So in this case, the event type is a lightweight M2M device register. There's a lot of different events that can be used. Uh, 
and in this case I'm then I'm going to utilize some metadata available in that event to discover what objects are available and uh, create a read request for all of the different uh, objects and instances that are available. Uh, so now if I look when the data comes in, it, it comes in in this IoT send data to twin. So this one is an event that's feeding off the lightweight M to M data event. And it's simply taking that data and set, sending it as telemetry. And then it's also sending it in a update to the twin. So I could also connect the like, IoT device explorer and see the telemetry packets coming in from this device as well if I wanted to. So the important thing here is you're creating very small little scripts to map data from the devices at the edge into Azure IoT Hub, enabling very quick uh, integration with a very high degree of reliability. It's a, it's a, uh, it's a definitely a low code solution. So I hope this was uh, interesting to you. And if you uh, are looking for more information, please check out our website and contact us.